We're in for some exciting K-pop debuts in 2024 from both big and small companies, which has stirred up a lot of excitement among fans, so let's check out the nine groups and soloists who are going to be making their much-anticipated debuts this year. As a major company, every group that SM Entertainment debuts will get the attention of the public. However, the possible debut of their new girl group has been highly anticipated for a few years now and is expected to make a significant impact in the industry. Even though we don't have a debut date, SM's plan for the year indicates that they might make their debut this year. Since we we don't have any information about the group, at least from the company, the fans are left to speculate about everything, from the number of members to their concept. It is said that the group will have eight members, with the oldest one being born in 2004. As for who the members are, the fans are basing their opinions on the current female trainees in the company, but so far there's nothing official. It's also been rumored that they will have a guardian angel concept, at least based on the possible names for them, which will be interesting to watch, to say the least. Espa debuted with their whole AI concept, and Rise has an emotional pop concept, so for their new girl group to potentially have a guardian angel concept is an idea we're definitely willing to see. And we know that SM Entertainment will get creative with it too. Another SM group that's going to be debuting this year is NCT New Team. However, as opposed to SM's new girl group, their debut is sure to happen. NCT New Team is the tentative name for an upcoming Japanese boy group under SM and will be the final subunit of NCT. In May of 2023, SM revealed that two SM rookies would join this new unit, while the remaining members would be chosen through a pre-debut competition. Yushi and Seon were introduced as the rookies in June then, shortly after, SM confirmed the start date of the survival show NCT Universe Last Art, which aired in July. Finally, during the show's concluding episode, the official lineup of the group, now known as NCT New Team, was revealed. Seon, Riku, Yushi, Jungmin, Daeyoung, Ryo, and Sakuya. The group started off pretty strong as they held a 28-show pre-debut Japan tour from October to December. However, before the tour even started, Jungmin ended up leaving the team on October 2nd due to health reasons and went back to being a trainee. They also released a pre-debut track titled Hands Up on October 18th, which gave a lot of hope for how their music is going to sound. Their debut date isn't confirmed yet, so stay tuned for updates. We can't make a video about anticipated debuts of this year and not mention Astro's Eun Woo. Being the most popular member due to his acting gigs, fans didn't expect Eun Woo to make his musical debut anytime soon, but it happened. Sport TV News reported that Eun Woo will be releasing his first solo album in the first half of 2024. It's even more exciting when you find out that he will give the fans a peek into his solo music, as he will perform some of the songs during his Just One 10 Minute Mystery Elevator solo tour of Asia, which will happen from February through April. The format of the album nor the name have yet to be revealed, but Fantagio will probably reveal it as soon as they can. Idols like Unwu don't debut every day, and the company knows this. Next, we have to talk about Alit. The group is going to be under Belift Lab, but has been formed through JTBC's R are you next? The show ran from June to September of last year, and it had 22 contestants competing with each other to secure a spot in a new six-member girl group. In the final episode, the group's lineup was revealed, with two members chosen by the public and four by the company's producers. The members Wanhee, Youngso, Minju, Iroha, Mocha, and Yuna all made it into the group, which received mixed reactions. However, not long after the group was formed, B-Lift Lab announced that the group would be debuting with only five members, as they had canceled Youngso's contract. Contract. The company asked everyone not to speculate on the reasons why, because according to them, it had been a mutual decision between the two. The decision was shocking, to say the least. Jungso had been one of the most popular contestants throughout the show, and based on the reactions that she was getting, people were very excited to see her debut, so for her to leave all that behind when she had trained for five years and was this close to debuting was definitely suspicious. With or without Jungso, the group's debut is one of the most anticipated for this year, so we can't wait to see what they'll bring to the table. As for Jungso, so we wish her the best of luck in whatever she chooses to do. Hybe Labels is going to be very busy debuting all kinds of groups in 2024. In addition to B-Lift Lab's I'll It, it has also been reported that Big Hit Music might also be thinking of debuting a new boy group, even though that hasn't been confirmed yet. There's also a confirmed group that's debuting, so let's talk about them instead. Cat's Eye was formed through the show The Debut Dream Academy, which premiered in September of last year. The show had 20 female contestants preparing to debut in the top six. The final line up ended up consisting of Sophia, Lara, Daniela, Yunche, Megan, and Manon. There's no debut date yet, but since it's expected that they'll debut in the first quarter of the year, we could see an official announcement pretty soon. SB Boys come from a small company, but people are going to be tuning in either way. That's because SB Boys will be the first K-pop group to have North Korean members. There's not only one North Korean member, but two. The members did an interview
interview with the Wall Street Journal in which they shared their stories of how hard it was to escape their home country and come to South Korea to follow their dreams. If that hasn't piqued your interest, maybe the person behind the group will. The CEO of their company, who happens to be the same person forming the group, is none other than Michelle Cho. She used to work at SM Entertainment and is known for writing hit songs for major idols like EXO's Baekhyun and Kai, Seventeen, and others. Aside from the three current members, the group will be adding two more this year and make their U.S. debut sometime in 2024, and we can't wait. An anticipated group that's expected to debut this year is also the girl group that will be formed by Atract. In October of last year, JTBC and Atract revealed that they would be collaborating on a new girl group project. They mentioned that specifics about the group, like its name, the number of members, and when they'll debut, haven't been finalized yet and would be figured out as they progress with the production. Considering all the troubles that Atract faced because of 50-50, everyone knew that they would be quick in debuting a new group so they could stay afloat as a company, but they didn't know just how quickly it would happen. In addition to that, since the project is in collaboration with JTBC, it's bound to be a success. But that's not the only thing that Attract has in mind for 2024. Even though we don't know if this technically counts as a new group debuting, we just had to include it. As mentioned, 5050 caused Attract a lot of trouble in 2023. The situation is too complicated and messy to explain here, but it ended with Kina going back to the company while the other three members had their contracts terminated. This meant that only Kina remained as a member of the group, which had everyone questioning what would happen to her. Would she be debuting as a soloist, or would she debut in a new group? Well, it actually turns out that Atract planned to continue 50-50 as a group, but with new members. Kina, of course, would still be a member, but the rest of the group would be built around her. According to Atract, the new 50-50 will most likely have four to five members, but it's still not decided as auditions are still underway. Just to make everything clear, though, the auditions for the new members of 50-50 are unrelated to the upcoming TV audition program scheduled for broadcast on JTBC. It's unknown whether the group will be formed this year, but logically, it will probably happen this year. Since there are still updates about the lawsuit, the public is still interested, so we're guessing that Atract wants to use the publicity to promote the new 50-50. And with auditions still in progress, it might happen soon, too. Another group that's expected to debut in the first half of 2024 is Candy Shop. Candy Shop is Brave Entertainment's first girl group since Brave Girls, who debuted in 2011. The company announced that the group would have four members and explained the name Candy stands for Catch and Draw Youth, while the shop is the space that connects the members to the fans. Probably wasn't what you expected, but these companies are getting creative nowadays. We don't have an exact debut date for them yet, but we will probably have updates on them very soon. Finishing off with the last group that HYBE is going to debut, let's discuss TWS. TWS is the first boy group that Pledis Entertainment is debuting in nine years, so to say that people are excited to see them debut would be an understatement. The group has six members, which were introduced through a group profile video, and they've already released a pre-release single titled Oh My My Sevens on January 2nd, which was received well by people. TWS is going to make its official debut on January 22nd with the mini album Sparkling Blue and a seemingly boyish and fun concept. Their pre-debut time hasn't exactly been easy though, as they have already been hit with plagiarism accusations. However, they're a pletus group and have gotten a lot of attention so far, so there's no way that these accusations can affect how well they will do. Whatever the case is, 2024 seems like a good year for K-pop, and all these debuts look promising.